Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen that when we are trying to check out to the master, so it is telling that your local changes will be overridden. So when you check out to the master, please commit your changes or stash them before you switch branches, it is saying. So please commit your changes means, so what is the thing? So whatever the changes we have did, we will commit those changes. But now we need to, we are learning about the stashing thing. So now we will do the stash instead of committing the data. So what is this stash? So this stash mainly when we will be using this one is, so I don't want to commit this data. Why? Because I am in the middle of the, I am middle of the task and I don't want to commit this data. So what I can do here, I can kept in a separate secret place that is nothing but the stashing. So stashing is a place just like the working area, index area and the repository area. How we are having this T3 states. We will be having another one stashing this place what we will try to do is so we will try to keep these all files in a secret place so that whenever there is a requirement of these things whenever we need to get back we can get that we can get the data from that secret place. So now what I will try to do here so let me clear out so here so now I want to so here if you try to check the status so here one file has been changed index.txt file now what I need to do. I need to stash these changes so that I can switch back to the master. So now what I will try to do git I will just type git stash that's it. So now when you try to press the git stash here what has a what it has been say tell saved working directory and index state working progress so it has been saved. So both the working directory and the index state index state is nothing but the staging. So now both has been went into the stash. So now we if you want to see whether the stash has been occurred or not so what we can do is. We can type the command git stash list. So it will give you the list of stashing. So here you will be able to see that this is the stash id and work in progress on feature 8fe something like this. Okay. So this is the name of the previous stash. So what we can say previous commit whatever the previous commit is there. So that one can that one is kept as a stash name. Okay. So if you want to give your own stash name is also we can give let's try to see. So now I have saved this one in the stashing. Now what I will try to do. So I can now switch back to the git checkout master. So I can check out to the master. Switch back to the master. So now if I try to check here what will happen. Now I have been switch back to the master. Now we will see the status here. So now if I try to see the status nothing is there. Everything is clean. Now what I will try to do. So now I want to apply the changes. Okay. I want to apply so whatever the work I want so for example whatever the work I want I can do it here I can do it here now I went back to the feature branch okay let's assume that I went back to the feature branch okay so now if we try to check the status here so nothing is there now what I can do is so now I want my changes to be get back in the branch so previously what we have did the changes I want to get back those changes what I can do here so we need to write git so we know that git stash list is there right sorry git stash list is there. So now we can use another command that is nothing but what we can say is git stash pop. So now pop this command what it will try to do is it will take the recent stash. So recently pushed stash it will take from the stash and it will remove it in the stash list and it will give it to the branch. So now if I click on stash pop see changes has been came to the index.txt file so whatever the changes we have kept it previously it has been came and here you will be able to see the drop the stash file. So now if I try to check the stash list so we will be not a sorry if I want to check the stash list I cannot able to see the stash list stash list is empty okay. So this is how we will be applying we will be adding into the stash adding into the stash and also getting it back from the stash. So now if you want to check the git status here, so now if I can try and check the git status, so whatever the modified file is there index.txt file, we get it back. Now previously we have seen right, so now if you want to stash it again, you can stash it. Now previously we have seen that the previous commit it has been giving the name right. So if you want to add a name, you can give your custom name for the stash also. That is nothing but git stash. So if you click on stash here, if you click on enter, so it will take the previous commit as the stash name. So if you want to give your custom name is git stash save and give the stash name. So something like modified. So you can take something like message right. So modified 
index something like this so if i click here so now it has been uh, index index file has been went into the stash so if you want to check the stash list you can write something like git stash list see now it is there in the stash here okay so now this is how we can give our so here you will be able to see that modified index also you will be able to see the stash so now this is how you will be getting you will be adding the custom name also in the stashing thing now see for example not only the git stash pop so now when i try to use the git stash pop okay so it will be applied the stash the recent stash will be applied for example if you want to see the stash list okay stash list if you want to see the stash list nothing is there so that means the stash list has been pop popped out so popped out means it will be removed from the stack so dropped here it is dropped so now you know for example for you you don't want to delete that stash okay you are i want to keep that stash aside only but i want to retrieve that one so how can we do is for example here what i can do here so let's try to do it git stash save so i can write modified stash or something like this okay so i saved it here so now let me clear out this one so now what i can do is i don't want to delete it from the stash list but i want to apply it to the feature branch so if i check the stash list here so we have the stash list and now what we what is the command we need to use is git stash okay apply we need to use the apply okay now if i try to save this copy this one so if uh, we need to copy this stash id and space here we need to give the oh sorry now so apply means so it, it uh, so we have it given the stash name right git stash apply so the recent stash will be applied automatically now if you try to see the git stash list here so the list will be there like that only but we have applied it in the feature so now if you want to what we can say if you want to go to the master means so you can write something like so now so git reset head hyphen hyphen hard so that i will remove everything okay so now i will remove it so i will check out to the master so now in the master what i will try to do so here in the master also i can write git stash apply directly so now conflict came so what is the conflict we have got it so why because in the index and we are, these all things we have it is there right so that is the reason we are having so now if you try to see git stash list so the stash is there but we got a conflict here by because in, in master index also has been changed and the stash data also has been changed so if you want to change it means so you can check the status here so here you'll be able to see so i can go to the vi index.txt file and here you'll be having the changes whatever the changes you want to keep you can keep it so this index file changes is the stash changes because uh, the changes came from the stash and this is the change index it is there already in the master so what i will try to do is so i will try to delete the master thing so i want to keep the stash changes only okay i keep the stash changes only so i saved it okay so now if you want to check you can check the its status so now it is there like that so if you want you can commit so that means the stashing thing we can apply in the branch whatever the whatever the branch you have stashed it and also you can apply the stashing thing in another branches also by using this stash pop and stash apply what is the main difference between the stash pop and the stash apply stash pop it will apply it to that particular branch the changes and it will remove it from the stash list so that it will be not available for you when you move on to the other branches but if you are if you do the git stash apply what is the benefit of that one so it will it will apply it to that current branch whatever the branch you have you have did it and also it will it will keep it in the stash list also so it will be there in the stash list also so this is all this is all some of the commands so in the stashing thing so for example can we make a multiple stashes so for example i have made some stashes uh, so i have made one stash and also i want to stash it another data so can we make it so these are multiple stashes so there in stashing there is also a provision for multiple stashes also so let's try to see about this multiple stashes in the next video if you have if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you